Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy here, and in this quick look video we're going to take a look at YouTube Music Key. The first thing you'll notice about YouTube Music Key is actually nothing. All of the changes take place in the menus and on the video playback pages. The general look and feel of the YouTube app itself has changed very little, if at all. In the menu, you'll notice a new offline selection that houses any videos that you have made available offline. Where you'll see the biggest changes are on the video playback screens. There are two new pieces. The first is a little logo that tells you that the video is being brought to you ad-free, and I guess that's just kind of a reminder that the service is actually working. To the right is a little download button. This will add videos to your offline list, which you can access in the aforementioned offline selection in the menu. The third big feature is background listening, and it does work pretty well, and here is what it looks like. Along with this feature comes a playback widget in the notifications so you can play and pause the music along with skip forward and back buttons and there is also some album art. It's a pretty standard notification music control widget so if you've used one before you know what this feels like. Here's the thing folks, that's really it. Along with these new features you'll also get the standard Google Play Music all access stuff including the 20 million songs that you can listen to, the radio stuff, and the 20,000 songs that you can upload yourself. I won't talk about that here because that's something else entirely. A few things to note for now in the YouTube application you cannot construct any offline playlists just yet. We imagine that this feature is still being worked on. Offline videos are good for 30 days. After that, your device will need to reconnect so it can perform a service check. If everything passes, you should be able to keep the video, and if you've since unsubscribed, the video will be removed. We're actually surprised at the lack of integration between Play Music and Music Key. Word around the digital water cooler is that more integration is coming, such as YouTube recommendations in the Play Music app, but for now, Music Key is only in YouTube, and Play Music is only in Play Music. Overall, I would say that Music Key is the YouTube experience that everyone has always wanted, the ad-free is nice, the offline playback is nice, and the background listening is something we've been clamoring for for ages. It's difficult to say whether Google Play Music All Access feels like an add-on to this, or if Music Key feels like an add-on to Google Play Music. For now, they are two distinctly separate services that you happen to get for one monthly payment. If I had to wager, I'd say these two services get fully integrated eventually, but for now, they are separate and it's not really a bad thing. It is in beta, and if you want to try it out for yourself, you'll have to pick up a Google Play Music All Access Pass for $9.99 per month. That's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.